hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to write a direct online program which is just a, a direct starter of the motor if you have a motor which is will need uh, less than five kilowatts to run the load is not too much on the motor then you need to use a direct online okay here yeah. just uh, writing my network name and the comment uh, for more videos on how to create a program or a project you can check on my previous videos and how i created the project as you can see up top there it's a dol project so i've already created the text you can also check on the previous video how to create the text on the project just to make it easier for me and to make this video not long i've made the separate videos because i'll also include start delta starter text on this program as you can see the text there so this is my start i'll put a retainer here I like to use the uh, memory or the retainers bit. You can also check on the previous video as on how on why do I like to use them. So we'll have a stop and you have your stop and we'll have your overload. I'll also we'll also have your overload and we'll also have our retainer is the main call output. We also have our retainer which will switch on our motor i've written our motor is the main because remember this program also include the start delta starter program so this is our main contact which will be the one that's going to switch on the motor so now we are going online there is also a video on how to to use the plc sim to go online and also add the text on plc sim you can check the video in the description so this is my project as you can see you press the start and you have your stop your e stop and then you have your overload and then you have your retainer when you press start your retainer parallel to the stop will keep your circuit on and then the retainer will also switch on your main i'll just type the the network 2 information because the network 2 is only just for switching on your main contact as i've clarified on the previous projects is i like to use the retainer for our main output now we are going online this is the circuit diagram and the main diagram you can pause the video to see clearly or to see more details of it so now i'm going to see how it works when we go online is a video on the link in the description showing in details how to use the plc sim because i don't want to make this video too long so i'll go and download i'm downloading to plc sim as you can see i will just finish uh, say finish there and then go online as you can see now we are online i uh, just need to put our monitor on now we are monitoring as you can see the plc is also on run i will just contract the screen so it is clear to view then i'll go to the plc sim this is the tech table as you can see it's also have the style and detail size i've said i've mixed the two i'll also show you there's a tech table that i've created from this side i've imported it to our plc sim 
on the link video in the link description you'll see how to import the tech table the tech table is for both the circuit diagram that I'll be busy with which is the drives online and the start delta starter so I'll just put everything on the screen so that you can see clearly as you can see starts is our 0.7 there is our start there which is a push button start and stop or push button then you have our overload which is the main overload and there you have your two stops which is your e-stop and the stop so i'll go now and press start as you can see now with the our mains it's on so our main contactor is on everything is running but because it's a push button i'll keep it off Because that's how it will physically work. As you can see, with the dotted blue dotted lines, that means there is no connection going through. The green dot, the green line means there is a connection going through. So, as you can see, our retainer is keeping our circuit on all the time, so that even if you release the stop, this the start it's continue to run because our start is a push button it will, the circuit will only stop if the overload is tripped or the stop or the e stop is pressed as you can see now i've tripled the overload which i've energized the overload as you can see everything is off but i've kept my overload tripped that's why the circuit is not working so I'll pull out the overload as you can see now it's working. So that's basically how it drives online work. As you can see also when you press the e-stop. Yeah, I also like to put the e-stop at not when not, not at the first input every time when I'm programming. Unless I have a analog input or specifications on my first input there is it i will stop there for today i don't want to make the video too long the next video will be the start delta starter which will continue from this video thank you please watch the other videos under the link in the description this is also the circuit that is in more details for the start delta starter thank you please like and subscribe